One of us need to speak. Cut, cut, cut. I don't know what's the next thing to say. Right. Cut, cut, cut. No, keep going. This is Elect Tech episode two. An update for our FEU. Freedom Expansion Unit. We have our... Um... Okay, we're really... Welcome to Elect Tech Episode 2. I'm Stingray and... I am Nin Lelai. We will show you an update of our Freedom Expansion Unit. We will play Gianna or Gianna Sisters, the 30th anniversary preview using our FEU on a Commodore 1 to a DCR in C64 mode. I will just load the game. There. It is made by the 7A3. This game is really good. I like it. And the people who made this game, well done to you. And we hope that you will release a full version of this game. It's, it's really good and you really did a good job to this. It's, it's a very good graphics and it's enjoyable. Ninlilai, what are some of the good things about this game? The bonus levels? Hidden levels? Yeah! I like the hidden levels, bonus levels and... I like the um, secret stage as well. It was uh, pretty tough to find that. Yeah, they've, really, they've really done a good job of this game. One thing we found um, on YouTube, there's a video by Carsten Levard, aka Zexalem. Uh, he's done a video uh, with his C128 with dual SID chips with the um, Gaina or Diana uh, sisters intro tune on it. Um, it's worth uh, che checking out. So. We'll leave a link to that video in the um, description. I died.
This is a prototype of the FEU. Ninlalai has put this prototype here together. Uh, we'll go um, once around the board and we'll look at what the main components are and what the main chips are. So starting down here, um, pretty obvious but uh, also pretty important is the edge connector. Um, so that's the end that plugs into the C128 or the C64. Uh, then we have here probably the main part of the entire FEU which is a Xilinx CPLD. Then over here we have two flash ROMs. Uh, that's one megabyte flash in total. And uh, this guy here is 128k of SRAM. Uh, we've got a reset button, a freeze button, and we have a chunk missing out of the board right here. And um, that's there for a reason because over here we also have a clock port connector. So that allows expandability, um, things like um, an Ethernet board or an RTC board. This is a prototype of RTC board that Stinger and I made for Freedom Expansion Unit. And this is the one you will put here on this space here. Just put it on top and We also made another board. It is called Ethernet and RTC board. So it has Ethernet and RTC together. We will be showing it to you soon, so keep an eye on that. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. The SAT test. It can determine whether a kid gets into a good college or not, which is reason enough to own a Commodore computer. Because one recent study showed preparing for the SAT on a computer can really help improve scores. Okay, stop. How'd you do? It's not bad, not bad. Really, wait, there wait, are wait, thousands wait. of reasons why more families own a Commodore personal computer. Better SAT scores is just one of them. The Commodore 64 or the Commodore 128.